the much anticipated SN10 prototype test was looking like a huge success. Of course, until it exploded roughly 8 minutes after the touchdown. So what really happened in those 8 minutes which caused the entire rocket ship to explode? But first, we are science today. We are trying to tell exciting scientific stories and bring the latest technology updates. If you enjoy it, then don't forget to click subscribe button and show your support for this scientific initiative. The result was quite similar to that of previous SN8 and SN9 prototype tests. The only difference being, this time it exploded after the successful touchdown, which definitely is a huge achievement. But why does it always explode when we try to land it? The simplest explanation could be, Starship is a heavy rocket with its booster fired up till it touches the ground. And remember, the landing velocity of Starship is still high compared to that of Falcon 9, which is causing heavy impact during landing. In case of SN10, it landed in one piece, but still, the tilt in its landing position was clearly visible, which might have caused due to sudden impact on the landing legs, damaging the structural stability of the entire rocket ship. It was suspected that after the landing impact, methane started leaking somewhere inside the ship. And as the engines were still smoking hot, it catched fire, producing the mesmerizing explosion. So does this mean there is something wrong with the Starship legs? Well, there could be. The heavy weight of the rocket and its speed is exerting too much pressure on the landing legs. So even if Starship did manage to land in precise vertical position, it might still cause damage to the structural stability of the rocket because of weak legs. Bear in mind that we are trying to land Starship on perfectly level launch pad terrain. And bodies like Moon and Mars might have the worst terrain conditions. So the question here now is, how to solve this problem? Theoretically, reducing the landing velocity while precisely positioning the landing legs should reduce the impact force. But considering the results of SN8, 9 and 10 tests, it is surely not an easy task. Otherwise, I would have had my own rocket company ready for its service. So here we go. This is why SN10 exploded after the successful landing. If you really enjoyed this video, and if you think it added value to your knowledge, feel free to comment your opinions on ways to improve the Starship landings, as your comments really help YouTube algorithm to notice this video. On this note, I'll consider that you have already subscribed to the channel. So hopefully, see you again.